Over the past year, I've helped over a thousand students land their dream offer in AI engineering. In this video, I'll break down the three secrets that will hopefully save you a ton of time and headache. Make the video full screen and pay close attention because secrets number one and two will surprise you. I used to grind leak code too in the university library until 2, 3 a.m. grinding hundreds of questions yet I wasn't getting any interviews, not a single callback. I felt like I was doing the right thing but I was getting nowhere. It's one of the most frustrating feelings. But then I saw people with worse leak code skills than me getting more interviews. I just didn't understand this and it turns out they were doing something different without even realizing it. You see these other students weren't that concerned with their grades or grinding leak code. Instead, they were just following their passions. I know it sounds cringe, but they were following their passions and building these impressive side projects that eventually turn into a full-blown portfolio. The game has changed. Leak code is a grind strategy, but companies want signal. And you're signaling the wrong things with leak code. It's a test-taking skill, not a job-ready skill. Building real AI projects, on the other hand, shows that you can solve real problems, ship working code and understand the core concepts. Here's the truth. You don't get interviews by solving 300 binary tree questions. You get interviews when a recruiter stumbles across your portfolio and the real world AI apps you've built. Projects are the new resume. And I'm not making this up. This is the exact strategy that helped me land internships at Amazon, Goldman Sachs, self-driving startups in the Bay Area, as well as new grad offers paying over $200,000 a year. And it's the exact same strategy that's helped students in my program land interviews at big tech companies. Your portfolio is your proof. Now don't get me wrong, I know some companies still ask leak code questions, so you should brush up a few weeks to a month before your interview, but spending months grinding leak code is a complete waste of time. A lot of students believe that they're not smart enough or that they're too late to AI. At least I used to feel that way. In fact, I almost didn't pursue AI because I felt like everyone else was smarter and I thought I was just too late to LLMs. And that's because most of the AI hype makes it seem like you need a PhD in math. But my friend, this could not be farther from the truth. It's a lie that stops plenty of smart students just like you before they even get started. The truth is you just need enough math to build projects and explain them clearly, and that is much less than you would expect. You don't need to derive every equation from scratch, you just need to understand how models work at a high level and be able to use industry standard libraries like PyTorch. I personally succeeded and landed my dream offers without being a math prodigy, and thousands of students in my program have as well. One student was even a biology major, and now they're working as an AI engineer. You already have the brain for this, you just need the right path. So stop waiting to feel ready, start building, and you'll learn the math as you go. A lot of students build projects but still don't get offers and they often blame the job market. And I get it because I was in your shoes too. The market is tough right now but it's still 100% possible to land offers right now. And the truth is, this isn't your fault. It's because school doesn't teach you to actually present your projects in the right way. If you've built projects before but still aren't seeing the results, it's probably the presentation that's the issue. If your project is just a bunch of messy pipe Python files, that's not the way to do it. You've got to organize and present everything in the right way, especially on your public portfolio. Because the truth is, you need to speak two different languages here. One that appeals to non-technical recruiters, they want to see all the buzzwords. And two, you've got to appeal to the technical hiring managers, they want to see that your project is going deep. Projects with vague titles like chatbot aren't really telling a story. A bullet point that says used PyTorch for this project isn't really showing any impact, and a GitHub link without a proper readme or a short demo isn't going to appeal to a non-technical recruiter. So add visualizations, proper demos, and documentation. It will pay off. And I have actual proof of this. There were students in my program who simply changed the presentation of their projects and started landing two, three, even four times more interviews. The presentation matters. 
Remember, the best offers, they're completely invisible. They're never even posted. The top applicants, recruiters reach out to them because they have a high signal portfolio. If you present everything right, you can sometimes bypass cold applications completely. It's not about luck, it's all about preparation and presentation. And if you'd like my help building a standout portfolio and landing your dream offer, I want to invite you to our program. It's linked in the description. We've helped thousands of students build their dream portfolio and land their dream offer. And we even have a full money back guarantee. I've never seen anything like this before, so head to the link in the description to learn more. And in case you're wondering which projects that you should build for your portfolio, check out this video. I'll see you in the next one.